So it turns out, Huckleberry actually got a very sizable buff at the beginning of the season. Now, we were stuck covering all the new stuff, new content, seasonal content, lore, etc. But in the back of my mind, I've been thinking about dear old Huckleberry. Partly because I just got through watching Tombstone for the hundredth time. By the way, excellent movie. Huckleberry, though, actually got a range bump by nearly four meters. Now, a lot of people didn't see this. It was just kind of like snuck in there in the patch notes. But essentially, its zoom stat was increased from 13 to 15. Funny enough, a lot of other SMGs had their range diminished. Things like Multimac, Shiorus Wrath, those being pretty much top dog amongst SMGs, got a range nerf, leaving that void to be filled by none other than the Hulkaberry. Now, the range was originally like 16, almost 16 and a half meters, and that bumped it up to 20 meters, which is really, really good. Now, Hulkaberry comes with the Ride the Bull exotic perk, where it increases its rate of fire, but also its recoil when you hold down the trigger. Now, this is a 750 round per minute SMG, and as you hold down the trigger, it does ramp up pretty substantially. The first 10 shots are at 750. Then it proceeds to ramp up almost up to 900 rounds per minute. And it's speculated it can reach up to 1,000 rounds per minute further in the Mac. And you can actually see it there in the bottom left of your screen. You'll see Ryan the Bull and then Ryan the Bull times two. Now, to be performing at that maximum rounds per minute, it's not really something you're going to be doing inside of PvP as you'll have to stop and reload. However, inside of PvE, especially with the exotic catalyst, considering that the catalyst completely auto reloads the weapon, you can just lay on the trigger. Now, inside of PvP, you do have to be somewhat conscious of where you're you're firing because even though the API and everything inside of dim says that this gun has 37 rounds in the magazine it's actually only 30 and you'll be amazed considering its rate of fire how quickly you burn through all of these shots huckleberry is the epitome of blowing your load and it does so beautifully now this weapon also comes with rampage as its damage perk it's a little more potent inside of pvp because it actually never received the nerf you see rampage across the board maxes out at 33 percent more damage and if you consider rounding like 32 33 percent but inside of pve though Rampage times three on Huckleberry maxes out at 66%. And that used to be the OG Rampage values. Again, similar to like Sunshot remaining at 150, Huckleberry is still a weapon that maintains OG Rampage stacks. Only applicable inside of PvE, but still very, very good. Inside of PvP though, this does crank our damage up from 22 at base to 24 to then 27 and 29. But here this season with Solo 3.0, of course we have to pair this with things like Radiance. This starts us off with a damage value of 24 per crit, ramming up to 27 per crit, 29, and then 32 at three stacks. Now, for the most part, you're not going to be walking around with three stacks of Rampage, but it's very easy to have at least one stack. And just having one stack of Rampage with Radiance does allow for the easy seven crit, one body on max resilience guardians. And just with that, at base rounds per minute, Huckleberry's looking at a 0.58 time to kill value. Again, it fluctuates. That TTK fluctuates a lot here with Huckleberry because of that rounds per minute change. It starts off at a base of 0.77, but it can easily drop down to as low as 0.4. 0.4! which actually ties that of Teraba when Teraba's fully amped. Now with this range bump, this is allowing Hulkaberry to now hang with other SMGs before it had a lack of zoom, which is why that 3.5 rating on Light GG was completely acceptable. It lacked in range. It was looked at as more of a PVE SMG. I'm here to tell you guys, it's very much a PVP SMG now. Now because this is a kinetic SMG, one of the best weapons to pair with Huckleberry is none other than the Wave Frame Grenade Launcher Explosive Personality. Guys, I highly advise getting this SMG. Yes, it is craftable. It's one of my favorite in the game. Wave frames are so good. And considering all the special changes here recently, I find myself playing more back from enemies and using things like GLs and most notably grenade launchers. Now the trait to be rocking here is of course disruption break. And I'm actually rocking the enhanced version. We're breaking a combatant shield and this works inside of PvP too. Breaking a combatant shield with this weapon makes them more vulnerable to kinetic damage for an improved duration. Combine this with the likes of autoloading holster. You never have to reload. Use a quick access sling mod so you can drop back and pull your SMG out really, really fast. And the beautiful thing about explosive personality, it also comes with the land tank origin trait, where final blows of the weapon grants increased resilience. I know it also boosts damage resistance against combatants. That doesn't really apply inside of PvP, but the resilience bump does. And resilience matters now, especially in PvE with that damage resist. But inside of PvP, it does allow you to combat flinch more. And for certain weapons, it does extend the time to kill, keeping you alive. But arguably the most beautiful thing here is the combination of explosive personality and Huckleberry. Disruption Break is a 50% debuff, raising our damage here to a whopping 33 per crit and 23 per body. And if we took that even further, Disruption Break with Radiant increases our damage to 36 per crit and 25 per body. We're talking some crazy damage values here, fellas. But more so than that, it's not really the optimal time to kill here that should be amazing you. It's the pure forgiveness. The ability to break someone's shield and then immediately swap over to Huckleberry to now have a 50% debuff on that target, making them easy cleanup, thus allowing 
allowing your huckleberry to get the immediate kill suddenly have a stack of rampage and if you're holding down the trigger this is of course amping that rate of fire for the next target now this can obviously get even more disgusting when we combine this with the likes of peacekeepers which seems like the go-to exotic choice for this combination i will say i was using it mainly here to just see if quick access sling would be quick enough here for me to get the swap off to my smg and to be honest with you it really is however peacekeepers would be faster and it's by far the best exotic to use with some machine guns especially with the passive 40 airborne effectiveness that's being granted to your smgs and of course the speed boost is really really nice my main question was do i prefer to have radiant more often as it's much easier to proc there on hunter or should i just go for peacekeepers i think i'm actually leaning more to the latter regardless though guys this is a very good combination that will catch multiple opponents by surprise especially if you get used to using wave frame grenade launchers the placement of your grenade shot by the time that wave makes contact with the enemy you already have huckleberry in your hand going for immediate cleanup with that increase in damage and by the way this doesn't just apply to huckleberry you could swap it out for the likes of last word or other kinetic weapons there's a lot of great options personally though huckleberry now covers all your bases previously i would say yes use a hand cannon instead of huckleberry but with the range bump outside of really big maps you're covered with huckleberry and just because damage fall off begins at 20 meters it still maintains contact even past that point point. and for my folks on controller that says this is only a good weapon on mouse and keyboard my man we rocked it on controller and it actually feels nastier on controller than it does on mouse and keyboard your only problem with huckleberry is that max size when you don't land a kill and you don't get that auto reload that does hurt the reload speed here is not exactly good so you don't really want to rely on reloading if at all but everything else here is beautiful so guys try out huckleberry today get an explosive personality as far as the god god role for explosive personality i think disruption break inside a pvp is really really good especially with all the loading holster allowing you to just run and gun inside a pve though you've got things like one for all stats for all frenzy on it golden tricorn fill prep it's a very good grenade launcher for both pve and pvp despite it having a 3.3 rating inside of pvp we never actually officially review this grenade launcher but i can tell you right now it is the only wave frame grenade launcher in the game that can roll with disruption and i've tried a lot of different gls with disruption break and i like it, but they don't have the ease of use that this geo has truth teller empty vessel very good gls but they don't have the ease of use that explosive personality has simply because they're not a wave frame and the beautiful thing about a wave frame gl is that even if it hits multiple targets there's no splitting of the damage it does full damage in that entire wave meaning everyone that just got hit by explosive personality has now been disrupted and will now take increased damage from huckleberry so guys try it out for yourselves one of my favorite exotics in the game for my titan mains breakout dero peacekeepers for my warlocks ophidian aspects would be a great option and for my hunters just keep revving it with quick access sling trust me you'll be just fine fellas and ladies thank you all for coming and watching and as always slap that like button like your mama told you right